All right, we are going to show you guys, just get off your phone. Sorry. We are going to show you guys how we clean our rifles. Um, so one of them just needs a clean, which is Jess's Tika 270. It's just a T3 Hunter with a stainless barrel. Um, it's been a pretty hardy workhorse for me. It's my first rifle that I bought and it's lasted for a lot of years, but it hasn't had a lot of cleans. It's no. not, not that well looked after, unfortunately, for this rifle. And the other one is Dad's 300 Win Mag, which I don't know why he's not cleaning. Yeah, yeah, I think you got rewarded on that one. I really did. Yeah. Considering I don't think I've ever shot this. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. You guys took it to New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. We had loads of fun. Uh, we start. <laughs> yeah, I was pregnant, so I didn't get to go. Um, but I will be cleaning Dad's, uh, I think it's a TX, T3X? Yeah. It's a T3X, T3X Forest. Yeah. So, so it's um, got the molded cheek piece on the stock. And it's also got the cool. Burris Eliminator Scope on it as well, which Dad absolutely loves. Um, and it's got a barrel obstruction. So I think Dad may have tripped and put it in the dirt. So <laughs> We're not naming names or anything, but it was definitely Dad it who did that. It was definitely Dad. Um, so I have to clean that one out for him, and we'll see how that goes, because I also haven't cleaned a gun in a long while. Have you ever cleaned a gun in your life? Yes. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> so we have our little cleaning kits here and we'll show you guys what we do. So we'll go with Jess's first. You don't need a lot of stuff to clean a rifle. Um, there are a couple of things that make it a little bit easier um, and so it can be pretty helpful but you don't need hundreds and hundreds of bits and pieces. We've just got these little kits. I'll show you guys. We've got um, one that's a gun slit kit and the others which is this uh, outers kit. So they were just kits that we bought together and then we've added little pieces as we've needed to for different calibers and stuff, but most like of it... Like our rag. Do you like our fancy nice. rag? Product placement. Branded. I think it's a singlet. Thank our partners for that. <laughs> Is it? I think so. <laughs> um. Yeah, so anyway, the couple of things that you do want is a good gun oil, um, a lubricant oil, and then also a gun cleaner. So that's going to get rid of all of the, it's going to just break down all the oils and crap that builds up in your barrel when you're shooting a lot. Um, so that's really good to have, and brand honestly really doesn't matter. Um, people have the their pre preferences, but yeah, they're all the same chemicals. So find what you like, but I wouldn't worry too much about um, choosing one if you're just buying your first cleaning kit. So gun oil, cleaner, oh, solvent, whatever really it's called. the exact same in this one. Yeah, so. it's because I, I bought them on eBay. I bought them on eBay and replaced what we had in them. Um, the other things is a good, what do you call this thing? Pole? Rod? Rod. <laughs> you need a good rod. <laughs> Not a pole, a rod. You need a good rod. Most of these kits will come with them. I think we've got... Two here? Or is that one yeah. broken? Mm. I think we didn't lose a piece for one or broke a piece. Yeah, there's that bit's lost. Yeah. But uh, right. we'll turn this around in a second. Anyway, they just screw together and you end up with a big long rod that's going to fit down the barrel. Oh, what you do want to do is... That's a nice kit. That's a nice kit, bro. <laughs> um, what you do want to do is... These guns are all unloaded and everything, but... What I'll do is take that magazine out. I won't show you guys what the code is. <laughs> That would be silly. <laughs> that and cutscene. So, take your bolt out of the rifle. If you can. Yeah, I was just using my weak lady hands. Just put that in your nicely prepared spot. Then your gun's safe and ready to go so that you can get the rod in there to clean it. Now, when you start cleaning it, first you want to start with the solvent. Um, so it breaks down all of the crap in and the build up and stuff like that. You got your rod, you want to get the appropriate calibre tip for your rod. <laughs> <Don't do this>. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's this. You have little scrubby brushes and then you have these little fluffy brushes too. Um, these are the most technical names you could possibly come the up with. The scrubbies and the fluffies. The scrubbies and the fluffies. Um, um, and then you've also got these little black ones that you can put cleaning cloth in that little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that little slot. You can uh, get we also have some pull pads. throughs. Yeah, we have pull throughs too. We'll go through that in a second because that's more of like a in the field or while you're out hunting. Is that, why is this pull throughs? What? 
I've always used pull throughs to clean them. Oh, you can use a pull through if you really want, but I use the rod because it's got these scrubby brushes. Okay. This is pre planned ahead of time. We came up with what we were going to say, we agreed. <laughs> we know what we're doing. <laughs> Trust us, we're engineers. Experts. Not even close. Anyway, so. Yes, you have a handful of these things. Wonderful. Great. Got some scrubbies and you got some fluffies and then you got some little bits of uh, clothy stuff. You got stuff. a black tip and some clothy stuff. So let's start with some solvent and a scrubby brush. That's what I like to start with. I actually, to be honest, I really don't bother use the fluffy. with these because I use the little black, oh, I'm gonna just got lost, and some cleaning, some of these cleaning pads because they work really well because you can see if there's any crap still coming off the inside of your barrel. So when you push them through, they obviously come out dirty if there's still crap in there. Um, and you just keep pushing them through until they come out clean. So I prefer that to these little fluffy Fluffies. brushes, but your preference, do what you like. I ain't gonna tell you how to live your life. Except for when we do these tutorial videos and I tell you how to live your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need a towel for this table, mate. Otherwise the solvent is gonna Eat our wood stuff. And Dad will be pissed. <laughs> Cutscene. Hold on a second. We will be back. All right, we're back. We've got a towel to protect the table. Important step. The solvent that you use to clean your gun and even the oil, like it's not good for other stuff. So, put probably put something down to protect whatever surface you're working on. Preferably, probably do this outside somewhere, like in a shed. I don't know, not at your dining table, but not at my dining table. <laughs> we like to live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, solvent. Oh, I can't get past the child lock. All right, so once you put your solvent on there, you just push it down through the chamber and down the barrel. Pull it all the way back. All right, once you've given it a good scrub with the scrubbing tip, technical name. I can't undo it. Did I tighten it too far? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was screwing it the wrong way. <laughs> I hate it when you screw it the wrong way. <laughs> now you want to give that a clean afterwards, but for now we'll just put that right there. Now where's my black tip? Put that on there. Just change tips. I do know how to do this. <laughs> and then you want to get your cleaning pad things. These you little numbers. Right oh, sweet. Thank you. Here's some you prepared earlier. You're such a good help. This is why I brought you here. I'm sure I asked you. Uh, <laughs> whose idea was this video? I have no idea. But it's mine. It's definitely mine. <laughs> I folded it in thirds. It was very difficult. You might need a degree. A, de a, de a degree. It's <laughs> obvious you, you just... don't have one. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm really in, like, <laughs> <you> <laughs> oh, how does she do it? <laughs> that so is, that was next level. So there you go. Hopefully um, we've that. actually got a camera up here that you can show it uh, to. But what, what that camera what about, is for. What about this camera? Though? I mean, <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. So, good looking a black good tip with a, wow, shut up. <laughs> All right, a little bit more of the goodness just on this first one. Got to get the juices on there. Whoops. That was a bit too much. <laughs> oh, that oh, is dirty. If you could not give it a gender, that would be great. Raffles been naughty. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that is what came out from the first go through with the cleaning cloth. Now these next ones, I won't put any um, solvent on them. I will just clean out what's already in there, and I'll keep running these through until comes out clean. Comes out clean. That is it comes out of nice a rifle that has nice, been used nice and, and abused. Nice and clean. Oh yeah. Don't you worry. She ain't no. She ain't no shelf decorator, this rifle. It's a workhorse, mate. <laughs> no. Did you get stuck? It's all good. All right. 
Rinse and repeat. You just keep doing that pretty much until don't actually rinse it. That was, that was just a figure of speech, guys. Don't, don't rinse. Just repeat. We'll put a little disclaimer. <laughs> just it's repeat. Like, it's like Trump saying inject yourselves. <laughs> don't bring Trump into these videos. <laughs> it's like disclaimer, Whoa. don't really inject yourself. <laughs> Do not rinse. Must have a ball. <laughs> <clears throat> I so didn't know these were made in Finland. You didn't know Se Senkos and Tikas were made in Finland. No, I don't pay attention that much. We've talked about it how many times? You don't talk to me. I talk to you all the time, I just don't tell you anything intelligent. <laughs> There's no point, it goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> That's getting a lot cleaner. It is. So, alright, so that was the first one that came out, and then that's the third, so it is getting cleaner. Okay, we have our fourth cleaning majig, cleaning clock, cleaning square, cleaning thing. It's a clean one. Um, we've done our three and they've come out dirty still, so we're gonna keep running this through, like I said earlier, until it comes out nice and clean. <clears throat> that one is looking pretty, pretty clean. clean. This ain't no medical tool. We don't need it sterilized, but that's looking pretty clean to me. Especially when we compare it to the first. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. Um, and now I will do the same thing again with a cloth, but I'm going to put a little bit of the gun oil on it um, just to protect, give a bit of a coating to the inside of the barrel and protect that now that we've kind of given it a good clean with the solvent. And then we'll do the same thing with the chamber and the outside of the barrel as well. I'll give that a bit of a clean with the um, gun oil too. All right, so I'll get the gun oil and put a couple of drops of that on this cleaning cloth. Not too much. You don't want to go overboard. Okay. Don't have too little either. <clears throat> Just the exact same process again. So that's the inside of the barrel coated, cleaned and coated with some gun oil. Now I'm just going to get this, um, you know, high quality rounded rag that we have, someone's old singlet, and use a little bit of the solvent on a corner of that to just clean inside this chamber area here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but obviously you know, like the breach. So I'll clean inside there all of the parts that I can reach and then the same as um, the back here where the bolt would click up into the chamber, not the chamber, but the breach. So that I'm going to try and clean all in around there as well with the solvent. And then I'll do the same thing with the oil and just give it a good coating after I'm finished cleaning it with the solvent to make sure that it's protected. And then the same thing with the bolt. It's just the same process all around. And you're just using the tools that'll get to where you need it to and work the best. So like these bigger areas, obviously I'm gonna use the cloth or the rag rather than the rod. Um, and the same on the bolt I'll do too. You can see there's a whole bunch of crap that's come off from the inside there. That was a relatively clean section of rag. <clears throat> and now I'll do the same thing with a bit of gun oil. This gun oil too also works wonders. I disclaimer, I don't know if you're supposed to use it for this. I've never asked anyone. But my stock looks pretty nice. So I think that that speaks for itself. When I've <laughs> when I've got my my rifle wet when I've been hunting in really bad weather, I've always brought it home and give it a good clean like we've just done now. Um, so barrel, bolt, all of that, um, <clears throat> your breach, everything. So try and get hit it all so that you don't end up with rust in your gun, in your rifle. But the other thing that I do is I get a bit of um, gun oil on a rag and I go over the stock and just let it soak into the stock. And that seems to protect it because otherwise I've had a couple of times where I've gone on a really wet hunt and after the stock dries, I don't know, it just kind of ends up, it goes like this real weird light kind of color it ends up looking a bit kind of weathered looking. So I've just gone over it with a little bit of gun oil and that has done well. So I don't know if you're supposed to do that. 
maybe check with your gun dealer or something, I'm not sure. Ask somebody more knowledgeable than me, but that's what I've done with my rifle and it's worked and nothing's broken, so. If you're in a pinch and you've got some gun oil and your stock looks like it needs a touch up, give it a rub with some gun oil and it should be all good. If that's the way you are inclined. Yes. Do not do it just because Jess tells you to. <laughs> do it of your own volition, all right? Look at the evidence, weigh up the options. Maybe try it with an old gun. <laughs> You're making it sound like it's so dodgy, like it's such a do it's just oil. It's fine. You could use cooking oil if you wanted to. I'm gonna do it again right now. Again, I would not You're recommend right doing it with cooking oil. <laughs> Look how beautiful it looks when you do. I mean, you can't argue with that logic. Look at it. Oh, so nice. All right. Now I'm just gonna clean the outside of it has been sitting in the safe for a little while so it really does not need too much of a clean. Oh, I lied. A little bit of surface rust there. Let's see if we can get this has been how long it has been since she's cleaned. Mate, just had that surface rust for a while. Okay. Clean my gun in a while. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but solvent doesn't get rid of surface rust. <laughs> But you tried. <laughs> nah, it's not coming off. You literally said, I don't know if you know this, but it doesn't work. And you're like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> All right. I'll tell you what. Just put that over there. Dad's gonna be mad if you <laughs> ruin his table. Tables are meant to be used. I prefer mine unused, thank you. Okay, I don't have a table at Just because you don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is the rifle done. Now I'm gonna set that aside and grab the bolt and do the same thing with my bolt. Now you can take these things apart. I have done it two times before, but it always seems to be kind of an accident how I figure out how to do it. <laughs> And I'm not that experienced at it, so. Maybe not this time. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it this time, <laughs> and I'm definitely not gonna instruct you guys on how to do that. Um, <laughs> We're gonna have some, like, maybe when I. Like, dealer come out going, this is not a good idea, just don't just, do it. Just, <laughs> don't watch these girls' videos. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how you do that. Please do not put oil on your guns. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's all good. It's all jeez. Just hitting it with a bit of the cleanser. It's not cleanser, it's not for your face, but the solvent now. My bolt. I'm just get in that top bit there. Give it a good old surface clean. She looks pretty good. She's done. And then the oil. And then we're all done with my rifle. Now we can watch Tash struggle with cleaning out a barrel obstruction. Not a good idea, really. I don't know why he's making me do this. All right, so now ba barrel, bolt is clean, barrel is clean. Outside of the rifle's clean. Now I'm gonna put the bolt back in. Now, my magazine is still out over here. There is nothing there. in the- There's nothing in the chamber. Check that. Um, now I'll show you guys how we store our rifles. Um, so this, you don't have to do this. This is just how we do it and how we're comfortable doing it um, and what we're used to, and what we've found safe for us. Um, and that is to push your bolt in, obviously checking that everything is empty, hold your trigger down and then push the bolt down. If you have enough strength. <laughs> no. um, and that way your firing pin is not engaged and you're not putting any strain on that spring in your bolt while your rifle is, is being stored. And now can't do anything, nothing is engaged and ready to shoot, the firearm is you not live. You can't the safety on, can you? Uh, depends can on the you? rifle, some of them you can, this one you can't. When it's when that happens when the firing pin is not engaged. But there you have it, clean rifle. It'll go back in the safe until we all get let out of our homes. After coronavirus <laughs> pisses off. <laughs> then we get to go hunting again. <laughs> Semi-insensitive. <laughs> what, to coronavirus? Oh no, I offended it. <laughs> anyway, basic um, process is obviously use that the uh, one of these brushes first. That loosens off all of the dirt and things like that. 
in your rifle to begin with, in the barrel, um, with a bit of solvent on it, and then start using these cleaning pads or um, the fluffy brushes. We didn't use a fluffy Clean brush, it out but you until can. it comes out clean. Um, and then after that, run a little bit of oil through there to protect the surface, surfaces, and you're done. Pretty simple. Don't touch your face. Pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. Take note of all of our disclaimers, please. Stay safe. <laughs> please take note of our disclaimers. <laughs> um, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you do enjoy them, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like the video. And you can also jump on I Am Hunter for more of our content in the videos that we do. That's also where um, you'll find out information about joining I Am Hunter, where you can be in the running to win giveaway prizes every month, um, a hunt every single year. We give away one free hunting package. This one is to Africa and Tis. you get free taxidermy with it. Yeah. What? Yep. So our membership fee is 120 bucks for the year and that gets you in the running for 12 giveaways throughout the year every single month and then the big annual hunt and then you also get discount codes for our partners and you are supporting us to make the content that we do like this stuff and keep it free for everybody to see so thank you for watching guys bye welcome to our classroom aren't you guys excited to be here i keep looking at myself instead of looking at the camera oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> put it on your little scrubby tip Telling people they got little scrubby tips. <laughs> Thank you for that. He thinks he's funny. Addition. <laughs> and you pull it back out. In and out. With your scrubby tip. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Anyway, you want a scrubby tip like that, then you try water. Like a cat. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We've got a towel to protect the table. Can you be quiet? <laughs> yep. Oh, my tip's getting loose, can you tighten my tip? You're gonna have to do the real video and then the separate video that's like the after hours version. <laughs> <laughs> Not suitable for work. Hi guys! I still keep looking at myself. You see the problem oh, is here no. that we've got the camera here. And then off to this side where you guys can't see, we have this little screen that shows us where we are I never look at the camera. and what we're doing. We're supposed to look here, but we always look around about here. I think she likes the fact that she has a rod right now. I do. I feel like a teacher. Like I've got this pointing stick and I just point at stuff. I always get stuck after it comes out of the chamber. And then I'm like, can't find the hole again.